Welcome back to Seekers Library, a world bridging network of truth seekers and the place to find a synthesis of self-awareness systems to know thyself. Today is the 13 moon circle and we are starting a new 28 day cycle. And I'm so excited to share this all with you. I'm doing this a little bit differently. I'm recording this, pre-recording this for you all to listen to and contemplate. So before I do, before we get started, I just want to invite you all to please subscribe to the Seekers Library YouTube channel. You can also sign up for my email list at seekerslibrary.net. I'm now offering Destiny Mapping Readings, which is a two-hour life purpose reading with me that includes astrology, human design, and gene keys all in one reading. And there's two different readings. You can get a personality map, which is all focused with Western astrology, and that's what human design and gene keys is based on. Or you can get your soul map, which is sidereal astrology, as well as your sidereal human design and sidereal gene keys. And no one is offering this reading except for destiny mapping facilitators, which is one of them is me. <laughs> so please, if you want to learn more, you can go to seekerslibrary.net. So thank you all for watching. Today, we are focusing on the resonant moon of attunement. So in the 13 moon circle, as a reminder, we focus on some key pieces. We focus on the tone. So for this moon, it is tone seven. We focus on the three main words. So every moon has a power and action and an essence. Um, and in this moon, we are focusing on channel, which is the power, inspire, which is the action, and attunement, which is the essence. So three main words that we cover in this 13 moon circle that we journal and reflect on. And then finally, we focus on the sacred totem animal. So there's always a sacred to totem animal for each moon. And for this moon, it is the monkey. <laughs> so we're going to complete the 13 moon circle by talking about the monkey. So thank you again. And the intention, again, for the 13 moon circle is to the noosphere, the higher mind. And when we can connect to this higher mind, we can raise our frequency. And that's what this month is all about. It is about cosmic alignment. And um, that's how we'll get started. So the first uh, piece is the tone. Tone seven, we're right in the middle of this blue lunar storm year. We've got seven more months left right in the middle here. So technically we have, yeah, seven more moons. And really even in numerology, seven is, uh, has a lot of mysticism to it. It really is the seeker. Um, when you have a life path of seven, I always think like, oh, okay. Like you're a truth seeker. <laughs> you're one of my people. Um, and yeah, so seven has a lot to do with mysticism, with um, meditation, with spirituality, with really truly being in alignment. And um, so, and, and also being like a mirror, like that is another big part of this. So we all have mystical power. We all have healing capabilities. And the first thing I want to share with you all is that you have the power to heal it yourself and that you are responsible for your feelings, for your thoughts, for your actions. You are responsible. So really claim that, claim that as your truth and claim that as powerful to create change in your life. And I'm going to just start off and hopefully this will pick up on the microphone, but really connecting to healing sounds this mood, this is going to be really helpful. There's so many different uh, sounds, healing sounds. So think about like, what are you listening to on a regular basis? What, what is um, going on in the background? Do you have piano music? Do you have guitar music? Do you have jazz? Do you have mantra music? What, what, is, um, what sounds are playing with, uh, in your experience? And I have another really lovely instrument. This is called a reverie harp. And it's tuned in the key of C right now.
I've been listening to a lot of binaural beats and just really focusing in on keeping my, my, my environment um, infused with healing sounds. So that is my recommendation for this moon is to really turn to sound healing. If you can get a sound healing, if you've ever had a sound healing, you may remember how healing that was. Um, if you've ever had a gong bath or singing bowls or swinging chimes, I'm just thinking back to all those beautiful sound healings before COVID. Um, and if you have any of those instruments at home, just really get them out <laughs> and use them. Okay. So we're being asked to attune our frequency and really like your vibe attracts your tribe. So if you think about the people that are in your life, um, it's really about, it's a mirror. It's a mirror reflection of your vibration. And if you don't like what you see, like one, remember that we are all one. I like to say we're a community of one expressing ourselves in billions of ways. So have compassion for everybody who that is on their path and their free will choice of where they're at in their life, that is their free will. What we get to do is really focus in within and focus in on ourselves and take our power back and, and know that we have the power to shift and change. And it starts with owning that and owning our power of healing ourselves. And there's so many different ways we can do that. We can do tapping. There's like a ton of ways. I have a very uh, strong sacred practice at the tips of my day. I do recommend having a practice at the tips of your day. So having a strong practice in the morning and in the evening can help so much in attuning our vibration. So we have three main words that we focus on in this month. And uh, we can form questions with each word. So the power word for this moon is channel. And I'd love for you to create your own question with the word channel. And for an example, my question is, how can I be a channel for miracles? How can I be a channel for miracles? And I am studying A Course in Miracles. I've been in A Course in Miracles student for many years now. So that is my inspiration. So please feel free to substitute miracles for whatever feels in resonance with you. As always, take what resonates and leave the rest. So how can I be a channel for miracles? Again, it's really about focusing on our bodies as well, our spine is very much connected to this moon and being a channel for high truths, for wisdom, for peace, for love, for miracles. So that's for the next 20 day, 28 days, you can focus on this uh, word channel as your power. You have the power to channel, to connect to ethereal wisdom, to go up up, up, up and connect to your spirit guides, to ascendant masters, masters, to angels, to anyone or anything that you feel connected to. There's no right or wrong here. And there's no shooting anybody else's truth for what they connect to. It's about you going within sitting in a position where you can really attune and have your spine be straight. So the best way is to have your shoulders be square, your um, heart chakra open, your spine straight, ideally your feet on the floor. You can also be sitting in lotus or some other way on a, on a yoga pillow. And then really let your belly go too. So many times we have our belly all tight. Just let it go and keep your hands up to attune, to be open, to be an open channel to the frequencies, to the, the wisdom that is available to you always. Anchor in your angels. 
Okay, so how can I be a channel for miracles? And you can go ahead and pause this recording if you'd like, if you feel inspired to journal uh, as I go through these questions. Okay, so the action for this Muth for the next 28 days is inspire. And my question for you is how can I inspire goodness and blessings in my environment? And this is a very important distinction when we are working with inspire. It's not about, again, telling other people how to live and how to be and what to feel or think and preaching and prophetizing, Proph prophetizing, I don't think I'm saying it right, but you know what I mean? It's not about preaching. It's about doing your own work and really walking your talk and living it and truly having your own connection and just being in that energy. And that is what inspires others. It's your energy. It's your vibe. It doesn't mean that they're going to do exactly what you're doing, but it's inspiring. It's like, oh, I really like that. That feels really good. Thank you. And it can be so simple. It can be when we're at the grocery store, setting the intention to be kind, because it can be a really stressful place to be. I'm going grocery store shopping after this. It can be a stressful time to be in that environment. But if you can set the intention to feel good, to be kind, it can inspire. It has a ripple effect. And as does the opposite. If you're really nasty or really rude, it, it affects everybody that you meet that day. So just really be responsible for your energy and for your emotions. And when you're out, if you're connecting with anyone at this, in this time, you might not be, but um, you also might be like, we're still connecting virtually and just know that um, it does have a ripple effect. So you can ask yourself for the next 28 days and you can fill in the blank here. How can I inspire? I have goodness and blessings in my environment. I heard uh, there was a talk that I went to two years ago at this point, and she said, ask, how can I be a blessing? How can I be a blessing to everyone that I meet? And that's really stuck with me. I don't always remember. <laughs> I don't always remember, but really, how can I be a blessing? And that is so beautiful. It's such a beautiful reminder. So what is your sentence for using the word inspire? How can you take action and be an inspiration? I invite you to journal now. And finally, the essence is attunement. And the lawoftime.org, they put out a video every 28 days. Jacob Rhythmic Dragon has been a guest on the Seekers Library podcast. And so the question that he shared in that video that you can check out is how can I attune my service to others? How can I attune my service to others? And if you've been following these codes, there's uh, a continuity to uh, and a connection to service through, throughout the 13 moon calendar and the dream spell. And so how can I attune my service to others? And that is a deep question. <laughs> um, when I think of attunement, again, I do think about my vibration and my connection to higher truths, to higher wisdom. And that's why having a practice, a regular practice before you go out in the world, before you even leave your room, um, before you meet any other person, you can go up, you can go home, you can go, you can connect to your guides and you can attune yourself so that you can be in service to others and whatever that looks like it can be so simple it does not have to mean that you're like spending your day volunteering all the time it can really be so simple and i know our faces are covered in public but it can really be as simple as a smile 
Okay, so again, the power is to channel, the action is to inspire, and the essence is attunement. And I'd like to share uh, the full 13 moon, the full 28 days. So this is one of my favorite. I like going to spacestationplaza.com because they have a digital version of the 13 moon calendar that you can look at. So if you, if this is your first 13 moon circle, not to worry, I'll go through just the basics. So you can see there's um, seven days of red. Then we have uh, seven days and it's gray, but this is the white, uh, seven days of blue and seven days of yellow to make up 28 days total. So the first seven days of this moon is the week of initiating. So we wanna start thinking about uh, the words, these channel, inspire, and attunement, and these questions, and start initiating, start, start playing with them. And today also starts the blue hand wave spell, all about no accomplishment and healing. So it's a very healing time. It's such a beautiful time to um, clear blocks, to heal past um, burdens. If you're waking up with thoughts, with um, if you're feeling triggered on a regular basis, there is something to clear. There is something to heal. And this is an amazing time to do it during this blue hand wave spell and during this week of initiating, of attunement, of channel, inspire, and attunement. So that is the first seven days again. And it starts on the January 10th Gregorian and uh, runs for the next seven days, the week of initiating. And the 13 days of the blue hand wave spell and then goes into the week of refining. So this second week that starts um, on, on January 17th, uh, that is our refinement of this attunement process, this cosmic alignment, this attuning to high truths and attuning to our guides and tuning to that wisdom. And so we're refining this process. Maybe you're working out what your sacred, uh, sacred practice looks like. Maybe you're just refining that. It can look so many different ways and it's totally individual and also uh, universal. <laughs> so this week of refinement um, is the next uh, seven days. And then the blue hand wave spell actually ends on day 13 of this 28 day cycle. So uh, and it's January 22nd, 2021. So it's going to be a really powerful day. Blue cosmic storm guided by abundance. So uh, beautiful day. And then the final, then the day after starts the yellow sun wave spell, all about fire, universal fire, life and enlighten. And that also lands on a rainbow bridge meditation day. <clears throat> and that is connecting to world peace. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a sip on my juice. So connecting to world peace on this yellow sun wave spell, yellow magnetic sun day, the final day of refinement of this moon of resonant moon of attunement. So then we get into the week of transformation. So you've initiated, you've refined this work of, of attuning your service to others. And then we get into the blue week of transformation. And then we're in the yellow sun wave spell. So very um, transformative uh, week. There's also a full moon happening that week as well. And uh, that will end on January 30th will be the final um, day of the blue week of transformation, but we'll still be in the yellow sun wave spell. Okay. And then the final week. So after you've refined, you've initiated and refined and gone through the transformation of focusing on this attunement, then you get in, we get into the week of flowering, the week of awareness. And 
that is the final week, uh, seeing the fruits um, of what of what you put into it, what intentions you put into it, seeing it blossom in your life and your experience. And it could be just an internal um, uh, awareness, or it could actually be someone else like mirroring back to you, like, wow, I really like love like how you've been, whatever it is. Because again, please take responsibility for yourself and, and do your best not to blame and shame uh, and point fingers that anyone else is responsible for how you feel. So this final week of flowering, we get to really uh, see and experience um, all that we put into this 28 day cycle. And so the yellow sun wave spell ends on day 26, February 4th. That will be um, yellow cosmic human. And uh, that is the final day of the yellow sun wave spell. The final wave spell that we get in this moon, just the first two days of it is the red Skywalker wave spell, which happens to be my wave spell, space, explore and wakefulness. It's also a prophecy of sorts. So um, that is the beginning of the, the Skywalker wave spell. And then the next day, White Lunar Wizard is my galactic birthday, which falls on the final uh, Rainbow Bridge Meditation Day. So powerful moon of the resonant moon of attunement. So thank you, Space Station Plaza. And so the final piece that we cover in the 13 moon circle is the sacred totem animal, which is the monkey. And the monkey represents play and magic as well as illusion. So the monkey is all about, the representation is all about illusion. And I shared this on uh, my Instagram, which you can check out at Seekers Library. Illusion, the illusion of time is the greatest illusion of all. And it can feel so real and linear when we're focusing, and I'm just gonna like kind of show it like this, when we're focusing on the horizontal plane, it can seem so real. And that's why this moon, we're being asked to attune to a vertical attunement, to um, connect to infinite creator, source of creation, God, goddess, universe, Holy Spirit, all that you are, attuned to that power, attuned to that wisdom, attuned to the miracles that are always available to us, but we get to choose. We get to choose our experience. We have free will here. So the ask is to attune your frequency and the illusion monkey reminds us that the illusion is time. And so when we do attune, when we do go up, when we go home, um, miracles can happen. And uh, this is something that um, is talked about in A Course in Miracles, is that sudden shifts happen when, when we do this and it collapses time. It can collapse years, it can collapse centuries, it can collapse thousands of, of years. It collapses time when we connect to the higher wisdom. And that higher wisdom, you can use whatever sacred text you would like. There are many, the Bible, the Quran, there are many texts that you can connect to. I personally love connecting to A Course in Miracles right now. Buddhism, Bhagavad Gita, connect to sacred texts, connect to higher truths, connect to your guides, and this will collapse the illusion of time. And finally, connect to the noosphere, connect to the higher mind. And that is my intention with this 13 moon circle is to connect to these cosmic codes um, because, because there is a, a Syrian technology. There is a galactic um, technology that we are all, this is like actually connected to the, uh, to nature, to our actual experience. When we start our calendar on January 1st, there's actually no astrological significance to that start date. But when we connect to this 13 moon calendar, there's actually an astrological significance, which is the heliocycle rising of the star Sirius. So this is ancient 
technology that we get to connect to. And when we, when we tune in, when we attune our frequency, we can connect to the noosphere. We can connect to the higher mind. When you tune in on Celio Days, the Rainbow Bridge Meditation, you can connect as a, as a frequency, as a, um, a unit to world peace. This is the best work that you could be doing is connecting, connecting yourself within and connecting to whatever God, goddess guides that resonate for you. And this is the most important piece that I always like to just drive home is take what resonates and leave the rest. Always trust and honor what is your truth. Okay. So that's all for this 13 moon circle. Again, please do subscribe to the Seekers Library YouTube channel. Please sign up for my email list at seekerslibrary.net. And if you're interested in learning more about destiny mapping, you can send me an email at love at seekerslibrary.net. Thank you all so much for watching. Sending you all so much love in the cash. I am another you.